UX design is like a joke. You know it's bad if you have to explain it. When people have difficulty navigating through and using a product, it makes them feel frustrated. In fact, we can argue that most people wouldn't have the patience to read through instructions to figure out how to order pizza from an app. Even worse, if that app asks you at the end of the transaction, did you get it? Yeah. No. Cool. <laughs> Just like a joke, it is important that our designs are intuitive and universally understood by your target users. So what makes a good joke? And how do these principles align with UX design? You'll be surprised by how much the process of writing and delivering a joke is similar to that of UX design. There's a very interesting article on ZME science discussing the science behind humor. According to the article, researchers have found that the key to humor lies in a simple formula, and that is humor equals tragedy plus time or distance. The main conclusion of that study is that something needs to be wrong in order for something to be funny. In UX design, we identify problems in order to develop innovative solutions. The foundation of UX design is motivated by the investigation and assessment of existing problems. According to an article published on mental floss, there are five main elements to a great joke. There's the premise, timing, dramatization, broader commentary, and tight construction. So what do these all mean and how do they relate with UX design? First is the premise. That is the scope of the joke. In design, that is the product's goal and purpose. Next are timing and dramatization. In a joke, timing relates to well-timed gestures while dramatization relates to the other interactions that emphasize points being driven. In design, these are the UI interactions that emphasize the user's actions to make the experience more intuitive and enjoyable. Then there's broader commentary. This is when we expand the scope of the joke to real world situations in order to connect with the audience. In UX, that is engaging and connecting with users in order to fully grasp their needs and to understand their thoughts and feelings and the challenges that they face. And lastly is type construction. If you take too long to get to the punchline, the audience will get bored. In UX design, this is a combination of user flow and performance. If it's too difficult or convoluted to achieve a task, or if the app or page takes forever to load, users will feel frustrated and will therefore forego using your product. The process of writing a joke is very similar to that of designing a product. WikiHow provides us with a step-by-step -step process on how to write a joke. And we're going to walk through that and see how each of these steps apply to UX design. The first step is consider interesting joke material. It is our mission as UX designers to make the world a better place by developing creative solutions to everyday problems. What is something people struggle with and how can this be improved? Whose lives will this product impact? This is where our mission starts. Next step is to research topics for different situations and audiences. We conduct our research so that we can tailor our products to the many needs of our users and the different use cases of our product. Third is to try to avoid controversial topics that might offend someone. There are certain interactions, UI components, animations, and other front end trends that won't always work well with your product intentions. Oftentimes, the best course of action is to keep it sweet and simple. 
fourth step is to consider your joke structure. In UX, we think about the many use cases of our product, as well as the many different personas using it. Users are humans, and humans have their flaws and disabilities and differences. Always consider the many personalities using your product. Keep the flows concise and remember to design for accessibility and for errors. The fifth step is to write the setup and punchline. Every product has a call to action and an action. It is our responsibility as designers to keep that user flow concise and intuitive. Sixth step is to heighten your joke's surprise factor. Familiarity and exaggeration will enhance your joke. Likewise, make the interactions and flow of your product feel familiar. Put emphasis on your product's call to action elements to draw your user's attention. Seventh step is to add tags or toppers. These are additional punchlines that build upon your first punchline. Review and assess your first design iteration and ask yourself, how much further can we improve this? Eighth step is to practice your joke. Test. Always verify that your design meets the intention of the product and your user's needs. Ninth step, consider your audience. We create user personas and conduct user research in order to fully understand how our users think and feel when working to accomplish the task your product aims to deliver. Don't just focus on one group of people. Think about the many different personalities that would be using your product. Tenth step is to add gestures. What UI interactions can we use to enhance the experience of accomplishing tasks with our product? Beyond animations, these can also be font or color choices and strategic use of white space. And lastly, be confident, relax, and improvise if you need to. Oftentimes, our product will not please everyone on its debut. The beauty of UX design, though, is that it's a cycle. We identify and assess the issues that made this version of our product fail. We conduct usability studies, user interviews, and other methods of research to base our solutions on and utilize these findings to develop creative solutions to improve our product. UX professionals are more than just researchers and designers. We are creative problem solvers. We identify, assess, and develop solutions to everyday problems. Users are people, and people have their own stories, struggles, mindsets, and beliefs. It's our responsibility as UX professionals to advocate for them by taking inspiration from their personal journeys. And as comedians aim to bring joy to the lives of people through their jokes, it is our mission as UX professionals to bring joy to the lives of people through our craft.